Nearly 12,200 children die from unintentional injuries each year. One of the main causes of these types of injuries is on a bicycle, sending more than 300,000 students to the ER. Well, the Steinberg Law Firm is doing its part to keep our children safe with its Safe on Wheels campaign. We're joined by Stephen Goldberg, an attorney with the law firm. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having you us. You brought us some sharp uh, helmets. Yes, so helmets for the safety kids. Safety first, right? Right. Uh, Why did you decide to do this? You know, we're trying to, listen, what we do, and we see a lot of personal injury. Um, Simon Law Firm has been around you know, for, for, for 90 years, and we're, we want to prevent these injuries. Uh, and we thought that with all these uh, head injuries happening with, uh, with students on bicycles, we thought something simple and effective would to, to be give away bike helmets and bike lights. What is the law here in South Carolina as far as wearing helmets while on bicycles? Uh, well, unfortunately, uh, you don't have to wear a helmet, um, and uh, so there is no law for that. But we strongly encourage it, obviously. Right, and same thing for motorcyclists as well. Correct, motorcycle is optional for motorcyclists, and I've seen plenty of people, I, I, we hear about bike safety, but on a motorcycle, wear a helmet also, because that's where I see the majority of injuries on, on motorbikes. And where do we tend to see more of the injuries? Because they say, don't ride your bike on the sidewalk. However, if mom, if you ask mom, she's going to say, <laughs> don't be in the street. Right. But what is well, there? Yeah. Is there rules about that as well? Sure. I mean, it depends. I mean, if you're in the neighborhoods, it's going to be a bit more flexible. You say on the sidewalks, on the streets. But, uh, you know, technically, you're supposed to ride with traffic. Um, but, but if Sometimes being on, on the sidewalk could be safer, uh, but you are supposed to ride with traffic. When you get kids, and we're talking kids who are you know, 13, 14, and under right. in the neighborhoods, we're just trying, they're all over the place, as you sure, know. You yes. drive around the neighborhood, <laughs> you're going to see them all over, yeah. whether on the streets or on the, on the uh, sidewalks. So wearing a helmet's important. Sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let's get into the campaign. Mm -hmm, sure. All right, so, so what, uh, what all does this entail? Sure, we're giving away 3,000 uh, helmets. Uh, we gave away 1,000 last year mostly in Berkeley County schools this year, or Title I schools, uh, I think it's Devon, Forest, uh, Goodwin, and uh, College Park Elementary. Mm -hmm. And those are the three schools where we're gonna be talking about bike safety, bike helmets. We did a video, you can uh, find this online, about bike, bike safety. A lot of simple rules. Uh, but again, wearing a helmet, if you get injured, you can scrape a knee, but if you, if you hit your head, a lot of bad things can happen. Certainly. And uh, you also were giving away bike lights. Bike lights as well. You right. know, we got the, the time changes coming up in November. It's going to be darker sooner. Getting those bike light kids get home from school at 5, all of a sudden it, it's getting dark. Yes, so. okay, perfect. All right, so about 3,000 uh, bike helmets along with those reflective gear and bike lights are going to be given away. And um, the first campaign was launched just last year. Correct. So this is our second year. This is going to be something that you'll continue to do. Right, yeah, absolutely. That's and I can tell you, you know, the best way to get your kid to wear a helmet is when you bike to wear a helmet. You know, we all That's grew up, my age, we didn't wear helmets. But now I put my helmet on, your son or daughter will see you wearing a helmet and they'll put one on. Lead by example. Lead by example. All yes. right, thank you so much. Absolutely. All right, we're back after this.